The Juggernaut is still being a noisy prick below. But luckily I'm able to dodge, dip, dive and dodge my way out of danger. I pop a stimulant and set my sights on the swine and bovine across the street. But as there's already Zeds in the building, I'm only able to get off two hits. Okay, we hit him. He's still alive. Look, he got up. So it's time to move on to one of the others, while fireworks distract the horde. But on my way, I do gain the attention of a screamer that for once is not your mother. I manage to get in four hits before the undead catch me, so I slip through the back door and set my sights back on the swine and bovine. And this heart is now completely unprotected which means I can complete the first phase but as the barbecue place looks overwhelmed I shift my attention onto play cart number three of Sawyer's Crossing although this one is a little further out. That play cart is in the tagged up auto shop and although there are zombies present there isn't enough to cause too much of a threat so I can start swinging wildly like I'm in a loveless marriage then when one catches me I dip out I then dip back in as two of us join the loner and I can complete the first phase. I am gonna have to take down a play cart soon though because um, I've got one stimulant le left. Then it's back to the swine and bovine, which is once again completely unguarded, allowing me to complete the phase quicker than ever, and while blasting the assault rifle, I get the win. But there's no time to hang around for the loot as the gases are still up, so I turn my attention back to the barbecue joint, where I complete the phase with four sledgehammer swings. But sadly, I can't complete the final phase before the magazine runs out. But I know it's gotta be close. 